look at this production on paper, and yeah. when you think of someone like a master like Tarantino, putting all his films together in some sort of on-stage musical, you think, well, you can only make what he's done worse. Uh, but how does this show work, and why is it is it brilliant? I think it's because we're not trying to replicate anything or recreate anything. It's purely focused on the soundtracks and the iconic music in his films, which were and are like a huge part of his process. <laughs> It's quite a fresh take. It's more like a concert. It's more like a Tarantino concert. Um, so I think we're safe. <laughs> you know, it's a musical for people that might normally be scared of musicals because it's um, the immersive nature of it. It all happens around you. You know, it's um, it's it's using this, the, these sort of huge characters that he creates and this this world you know this sort of real than real cinematic universe that he creates and and putting it in your face and putting it like live in front of you talk us through who you guys play then i assume multiple characters I'm, I play Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. And then that kind of doubles into Beatrix Kiddo, obviously from Kill Bill. You know, there's there's quite a famous speech that Mia Wallace gives in Pulp Fiction where she talks about this TV pilot that she did um, and how it was Fox Force 5 and there was this blonde leader. And so there's always been kind of, you know, this this meta sort of level to Tarantino's movies. And I think we're just really focusing on that. Um, but it's so much fun because obviously Mia Wallace is known for being like quite chilled and laid back. And then Beatrix Kiddo is just like a natural born killer. She's she's crazy and wild, like a cowboy, so. Of course, Dara, what was it like having to do the iconic dance scene at Jack Rabbit Slim's? <laughs> I get to do the iconic dance. I love that bit. Um, yeah, it's fun. We have fun every time we do it. Um, just hoping that my wig doesn't fly off at any point. It's, uh, it's one of those things, one of those moments that um, it, you just everyone remembers from, from Pulp Fiction and, and the way they did it. So it's fun for us to give it our own spin or our own twist. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I play a, like a crossover of, of Vincent, Vincent Vega and Mr. Pink from Reservoir Dogs. Why am I Mr. Pink? Who cares what your name is? And obviously the show started in Hollywood, perhaps, perhaps aptly for the kind of thing it is. Um, but now it's over in London. Do you think London audiences are really going to be as receptive to it as Americans are? You know, do you think we're up for being splattered with blood on the front row? I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of killing. The thing is, London is so famous for theatre and and we, you know, we do it really well. Um, but it means that people are really open to new kind of experiences. And this is quite a new thing for London. I don't think there's anything else like this at all. This kind of, I mean, there's immersive stuff, but this has kind of got it all. It's got, uh, you know, it's got theatre, it's got music, it's got... The, the fighting it's got audience interaction it's got uh so and and so far people have been really receptive really receptive you feed off the energy of the audience and they love it even people who ha who aren't you know you might bring your friend who isn't aware of you know every tarantino film and you think well they're not really going to get it and then they tell you afterwards no i just really need to to go and watch his movies because this was this was sick so it's yeah, you don't even need to, you know, be a hardcore Tarantino fan to enjoy it. It's it's just really, really good music and amazing characters. So, yeah, it's a good one. 